I believe Gala is a sleeping giant. I mean, where else can we find a crypto project that is focused on NFTs, DeFi, gaming, film, music, the metaverse, and also on top of that, having its very own layer one blockchain. And yet, despite all that being down over 95% from its all-time high price and only having a market cap of around $300 million. I mean, where else can we find something this amazing yet this low in price? I think Gala is so undervalued and I think it's ready to rock in such a big way during the next bull run. However, unfortunately, there are still going to be people who are going to hate on Gala no matter what. Despite how amazing Gala is, many people like to hate on it. They like to say, oh man, Gala sucks. Oh my goodness, Gala has no future. Oh, it's done. It's never going to recover. You know, there are many people out there that like to spew out this type of nonsense. And when it comes to the people who say this type of stuff, you know, it's their choice. They can hate on Gala if they want to. You know, I can't control them. But here's the thing. I wonder where they will be during the next bull run, especially once Gala smashes through the price of $2, does a 48x and beyond. I wonder where these haters will be when Gala finally does that. I wonder where they will be. However, I do have a guess. And my guess is that when that all starts happening, I think that these haters will start crying over to their girlfriend's boyfriend. Yeah, you heard that, right? These haters, they're gonna cry over to the boyfriend of their girlfriend. And they're gonna start saying, oh my goodness, I can't believe, you know, we didn't believe in Gala. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we chose to ignore Gala. You know, they're gonna start crying, they're gonna start weeping, they're gonna start being all emotional, and they're gonna start doing all this type of stuff. And I'm assuming that at least at that point, they're probably gonna start regretting the fact that they chose to ignore Gala right here, right now. And now this is not a invitation to buy, sell, or trade Gala, but I just think that for anyone out there who chooses to ignore Gala, they most likely Likely will regret it later on in the future, not financial advice. And I think Canadian singing sensation slash rapper Drake said it best when he said, laugh now, cry later, because that's exactly what I think these Gala haters will be doing during the next bull run. You know, some people, they may cry because their girlfriend went off to Cabo with an alpha bad boy slash Chad, you know, cheated on them, and now they're crying. You know, some people, they may cry because of that. Some other people, they may cry because their baby mama won't buy them that new PS5. You know, long story short people they cry for various reasons but in my opinion during the next bull run people will cry because of gala i don't think they're gonna cry because of these you know girlfriend problems whatever you name it sugar mama problems i think they're gonna be crying because they missed out on gala i think gala in my opinion can make a grown man cry in two different ways the first being just like i mentioned before a gala hater who doesn't believe in gala and is then later on crying during the next bull run because they missed out on gala i think that's the first way gala can do that but the second way i think gala can make some someone cry is through tears of joy. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, for example, there is a Gala believer right here right now who is accumulating Gala dollar cost averaging into Gala, who is then later on crying during the next bull run because they can't believe the gains that Gala has provided. You know, they are crying tears of happiness. They're not crying hater tears. You know, don't get it twisted, right? Gala both ways, it's going to make people rain down the raindrops if you know what I mean. You know, either someone hates on Gala, they're crying. If someone believes in Gala, they're crying as well. It's just two different types of tears. One's pain, one is joy. And now I want to shift gears real quick and talk about the latest news when it comes to Gala. And more specifically, the latest and probably biggest news when it comes to Gala games is the fact that they recently have partnered up with a crypto exchange called Huobi. And when it comes to the details of this, the three main goals of this partnership is to first of all have the listing of Gala on Huobi and second of all have the integration of Huobi's eco chain with Gala Games' platform. And by the way, the eco chain is Huobi's very own layer one blockchain. However, besides that point, another goal of this partnership, the third goal is to have the development of new blockchain based games that will be available on both platforms. And wow, that's fantastic right there because I think this right here could really attract more users on Gala Games in the future. And I think this is such a massive step in the right direction for Gala. And also, according to Bitbender, who, by the way, is the president of blockchain on Gala Games, he says that the integration of our layer one blockchain, aka Jiri, into popular exchanges like Huobi is absolutely crucial with the level of mass adoption we are looking for. This partnership empowers tomorrow's developers to create a more stable and secure Web3 future. I think this partnership could do one 
wonders for Gala moving forward. And I think it could really act as a catalyst for more exchanges in the future to start partnering up with Gala as well. Because once Gala partners up with Huobi, let's say another exchange partners up with Gala and then another and another, it could really create a domino effect in which all of these exchanges start forming partnerships with Gala. And this is what I love about Gala. You know, other crypto gaming projects, they don't really care about this type of stuff. Let's face it, right? Most of them, they're just focused on slapping together these tacky blockchain games that aren't even good whatsoever. They don't care about diversifying their ecosystem. Many crypto projects out there, they're just in it for a quick buck, right? Many of them are just looking to join in the hype. They're just trying to join in on the trend. But Gala, they're not like that. They're focused on the long term. And partnerships like this really do show how Gala cares about their future. I think when compared to a lot of other crypto gaming projects out there, Gala is just on a whole nother level. And by me buying Gala right here, right now, I believe that I am preparing myself for the next bull run. I think it's going to be huge. I think it's going to be massive. I can't wait and I'm so excited. And if you want to see a video of me comparing Gala to ApeCoin, Decentraland, Sandbox, Axie Infinity, and Engine, make sure to go ahead and click on this video right here. It's an incredible video and I think you all would really love it. In that video, I give my thoughts on all those crypto projects and talk about which ones I think are the best.